guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another request and the request for today is how to model a beach umbrella. Okay, so let's get started with that. We are going to take a polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that out, pull it up a little bit and hit five for shaded mode. We're going to make sure that we have enough subdivisions. So we're going to go into our attribute editor change that to 40 and uh, in height we'll do three edges or three subdivisions okay we're gonna right click go to edge double click on these two hit w pull them down and then take just that one and pull that one down as well and then we're going to switch to this view here, hit F to zoom in, right click, right click face, drag click both, edit mesh, extrude, hit R to scale that out, W to pull that down, and then we're going to drag select the bottom section there, edit mesh, extrude, R to pull that out again and W to pull that down. Okay. Now let's see how that looks. Okay. What we are going to do is we're going to scale the bottom one out a bit more. And then we're going to push it down to make it a bit thinner, which will give a slightly a slope, if you will. Okay. We're going to zoom in, right click edge, Double click on that edge, edit mesh, bevel, right click object mode, hit W and move that up so we can see the whole thing. That's fine. And then we're going to right click, go to vertex, drag select that top here, and drag that up until we have the approximate height that we're looking for. I'll hit 5 for shaded mode so we can see it a bit better. That would be about right. Okay. Now this section is slightly thick, if you will. So what we'll do is we'll take these and we'll hit R. Uh, actually, let's see. We'll just take these, drag them out and push them in. That's slightly better in proportion. Okay. All right, so now that we have that, we can maybe take these vertices and drag it up a bit more. Okay. Now next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a polygon cube. Let's pull that up and make sure it's square. So we're going to do one by one and the depth, the, uh, the height, that's fine. Take that, hit E, rotate that to... 90 degrees. From our top view, we're going to select this guy and set the translate values to zero. So it's nice and centered. And then we'll take that one and we'll do the same. There we go. Then we're going to take that, hit W, move that out. Hit F to zoom in. Five for shaded mode. Actually, that's not going to work. We'll hit four and we're going to move that until the edge right here is hitting that inner circle. Okay. Now let's just check to see if that looks all right. This view right here. Again, five for shaded mode. We'll move that up and I'll actually turn off the grid here so we can see it a bit better. Now that looks a bit long. So I'm going to right click at our vertex. That's a bit better. Okay. So we got that guy set up from our top view. Right click object mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the D key and drag our pivot to the center here. And we'll just make sure that it's 
as close as possible to that center. There we go. And we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. Hit E and rotate that over by minus 180 degrees. There we go. Then we're going to select and shift select. Got a mesh combine. Control D again to duplicate. Move that by minus 90. Hit Control D again. Let's do minus 135. And hit Control D again. And rotate to minus 225. Okay. That gives us our initial shape. There we go. Now, we're going to tilt them down, if you will. So for that, we're going to select these guys until we have all of them. Mesh Combine. Right-click Vertex. And we're going to select all of these outer vertices. Oops. Apparently, I rotated something here. OK, so we've got all of them. We're going to go to the dish view. We're going to hit W and we're going to push that down until we have the approximate angle that we're looking for for our umbrella. And I actually missed one apparently. So we'll just need to take that one as well. Push that down. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. I have to go to object mode first, sorry. Control D to duplicate. And let's move that down to about here. And not worry about that too much right now. We're going to tweak that in a sec. We're going to create a polygon pipe. Give that some height. And in our attribute editor, give that 40 subdivisions and give that a thickness of 9. That's too much. Let's do 4. Okay. We are going to add one additional subdivision in the height there. Hit F to zoom in. Right click face. We're going to select that bottom row. If he decides to cooperate, there we go. No idea why he's not taking that. Never mind. We'll do it from here. Just drag select that. OK. Edit Mesh Extrude. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale that up. Then go to object mode, set our translate values to zero. So it's nice and centered. And then we're going to hit F to zoom in. Obviously, we're going to hit R. We're going to scale that down quite a bit. Hit F to zoom in and make sure it's a tight fit. Maybe stretch it out a bit. But that's about right. Hit W, pull that up. Until we are at that position. Now you can see that it requires a bit more thickness. So we're going to scale it up a bit. Hit W, push that up. Until these sections are covered. Which means, right click, uh, let's see if we can approach it from this way. There we go. We're going to drag that down a bit. So all sections are moved in. There we go. We are going to select that row, bring that up. And then we're going to select this edge here. And the edge down here. And we're going to hit R 
and we're going to scale that in until we are within the dimensions of the pole. Okay, cool. Okay, so now that we got that, what we're going to do is we're going to select these guys, right click vertex, we're going to select the end vertices as we did before, and there we go. We're going to hit W and we're going to move those up. Let's just check that from this view here. And that should be about right. And now we're going to hit R. We're going to scale that in. We're going to hit W. We're going to push it down until we get this effect right here. Okay, I'll just go to object mode so you can see it a bit better. All right, cool. Next, up here, we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, one right there, hit Q on your keyboard, we're going to right click, go to Face, drag select that top section, Edit Mesh, Extrude, we're going to hit R, we're going to scale that out just a little, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a polygon cylinder, give that a little bit of height, subdivisions 40, let's set our translate values to zero to get that nice and centered, and then pull that up, F to zoom in, R to scale down, Pull it up a little bit. That looks fine. All right, cool. So now that we've got all that done, drag select the whole deal. Make sure you're in object mode. Mesh, combine. So that's our basis for the umbrella, okay? Now let's deal with the cloth on top. For that, we are going to take a polygon, sorry, polygon pipe. Drag that out, pull it up just slightly, go to your attribute editor. We're going to do quite a high uh, subdivision count. We're going to tweak the thickness until we have a hole that fits our top here. So select your object, set the translate values to zero, so it's centered. Pull that up, and let's just check it from our top view. Hit F to zoom in. Okay, now this edge here, we're going to bring that in. But before we do anything else, we're going to add some caps, and actually quite a few. And that's important because we are going to turn this into an end cloth, and we want this to shape well, if you will. Okay, let's see if we can tweak that thickness a bit. This looks about right. Hit F to zoom in. And make sure that this guy is very thin. So hit R and scale that down. Not too thin, but okay. Back to our top view. Now the cloth has to stick out a little bit. All right. So we are going to increase the radius until we have at least two face rows sticking out, which means that we need to adjust this a bit. Should have done that before. That's nice. Okay, it looks like we're all set. It's a little bit thick, so we'll just push that down a bit. Okay. Now we're gonna take our um, unit, if you wanna call that, we're going to go to end dynamics, to end mesh, and create passive collider. Then we're going to select our cloth, end mesh, create end cloth. Select it once again, go to fields, hit gravity. Now let's increase our frames to a thousand. 
hit play and let it play out and hit stop when it looks okay so this is what we have so far and I kind of like it looks good so what we're gonna do is we're now gonna drag select everything go to edit delete by type history and modify freeze transformations okay so now this is no longer an animation you can just hit play nothing's gonna happen okay now we're gonna do one more thing we are going to create a small cloth section for the top here so we are going to create another pipe give it some height just slightly we're gonna create some thickness hit F to zoom in scale that guy down quite a bit let's give that 60 subdivisions so it's nice and round and set our translate value to zero okay now we are going to hit W pull that up until we're on top here Go to your top view and we can actually hit R and scale that guy in to about there. I have to zoom in. That looks all good. Pretty close. Yep. Okay, and now we're we're gonna repeat those steps. So we're gonna select this whole thing here. And actually we just need to select that. Go to end mesh, uh, create passive glider, select our cloth there. And I probably need to add some caps. There we go. We're going to select that and mesh, create end cloth. We got still got frames going on. Hit play on your keyboard. Sorry, forgot the gravity. Select that fields, gravity. Hit play on your keyboard. There we go. And hit stop. Okay, we still need to bring it down manually, but it's fine. Select it, edit, delete by type. History. Select your object, hit W and bring that down to a point where you get something like this. All right. Cool. Now that we got that, let's uh, select the whole thing. Go to your polygons menu, mesh combine. Uh, actually, that was a bit premature. Mesh separate. Reason being that I want to adjust the colors. So I'll drag click everything, right click assign new material, Lambert and white then we are going to go to our top cover i'll hit four for wireframe mode right click face we're going to select that row we are going to that's hard to see actually okay what we'll do is Object mode, just got the top here. Assign the material, Lambert gray. That's a bit better, so I can see what's going on. All right, we're gonna go up here, right click face. We're gonna select that. We're gonna select that. Gonna select that. Okay. Right click, assign new material, Lambert and blue. And that's shining through a little bit, which is, yeah, it's because of our ink cloth. Not quite sure how that's gonna look. So, what we'll do because this is not really about the texturing, we'll just take our cover, right click, assign new material, 
Lambert, and we'll just make that blue. Okay, that's better. And then we'll take that up here, assign the material, Lambert yellow. Cool. Let's create a quick ground plane for our umbrella. Hit R, stretch that out, stretch that out. Make sure our entire umbrella is sitting on our plane. There we go. Let's set up some quick daylight. Render settings, mental ray, indirect lighting, physical sun and sky, set up global illumination, final gathering, set your quality tab to 1.5 roughly. And in our common tab, let's change that to HD 1080. We're gonna hit seven on our keyboard to see what our lighting is doing. Go to Windows, Outliner. Where is our sun? There it is. We're gonna pull that up. Pull that out, hit F to zoom in. And we're gonna hit E and we're gonna rotate that. Just so we get a sense of what's going on. Okay. Let's just zoom in our on in on our umbrella. There we go. We'll do that so we can see a little bit what's going on. And let's give this a try. There we go. That's a a prep one that I did. Almost done. We'll give it another sec. Well, there you go, guys. There's our umbrella. Well, have fun with that. If you've got any questions, uh, please ask. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and see you guys next time. Bye.